Your internet search is over. You found Ron and Fez. Ronnie, the situation in New York City. There's a situation? Yeah. Big Apple? There's a situation. I consider New York City the world's capital, Fez. Let me point that out. Good for that you. That never gets said enough. Nice. And one more thing. The world's greatest city. You know, people talk about heroes, mm-hmm. and a lot of this stuff has come up. But I'm thinking about some people that were forgotten on that hero list. Who's that? I'm talking about the firemen. That no one has mentioned the fact that firemen are heroes in this city. Are you sure no one's mentioned the firemen? Not to me. All right, what's the big situation, Fez? The situation is, Ronnie, we have a city council where most of the members are freshman members. They're brand new to the city council. Newly elected. Why is that? What happened to the old blood, the old school? Did we run them out? It's the term we, limits, Ronnie. It's run, those damn term limits. We run them out of town? Right. So, of the 51-member city council we got, 38 members are brand new. Good. So now, these freshman council members are trying to get all these new ordinances and laws passed through the city council to get their names on the book, saying, all right, now I'm making a name for myself. Good, yeah. I'm the guy that came up with this. There's a new gun in town. You're, sure. uh, you're coming across like that. Or there's a new kid in town, as the Eagles used to whine about. There's uh, Helen Sears out of Queens, councilwoman, I believe. All right, Helen. She wants to ticket motorists who won't clear their cars of snow and ice before driving them. You know, uh, I don't know if it's a big problem with cars, but you ever notice when a van lets all that snow and ice on top, and then they're driving down the road, and then suddenly it starts to melt, and they hit uh, hit their brakes, and that just big sheet of ice comes flying out. Avalanche! So I think, what's her name again, Mrs. Sears? Yeah, Helen Sears. The one and only Helen Sears out of Queens? <laughs> I say she's on to something. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. There we go. Second, second. I second, second. All right, also, let's see here. There is someone who wants to ban... All right, this is another Queens Democrat. John Liu, I believe his name is. Sweet Liu. Mm -hmm. Wants to ban the sale and installation of audible car alarms. What kind of car alarms? Audible. Ones you can hear. What other kind of (laughs) alarms would there? I guess he's a big fan of the low jack. I don't know. I I think you do this. Every... (laughs) Every car should have a dog there, and then if someone tries to break into it, the dog comes over and licks you awake. (laughs) That's what he wants to do away with. So what does he want instead? A laser beam? Uh... How else do we get contacted? He wants car alarms that don't, How about <laughs> don't make noise. You have a string around your toe, your big toe. Someone steals your car, you feel it. Hey! Hey! You're just driving out of your bed Somebody with your car. Somebody fell in the string! All right, there is Councilman Martin Golden. He's out of Brooklyn. You, sir, are under arrest. John Lowe, turn off your alarm. When your car was being taken... And made a huge noise. I know, you get the ticket for having your car stolen, according to John Lou. Let's just do this. Let's have Ozzy Osbourne's black security guard just standing in front of everybody's car. <laughs> uh, let's hey, see. come back. Hey, that belongs to Mr. Osbourne. <laughs> That's Mr. Osbourne's car. Martin Golden, he wants to make uh, it a law. What, you know what I call him? I call what? him the golden boy of the city council. <laughs> really? Brooklyn's golden boy. Martin Golden, he wants, it, uh, I guess, a law that the American flag has to lead off every parade in the city. Fez, you would love to go lead every parade, wouldn't you? I said flag. Flag oh. with an L. Oh. You misunderstood. What's wrong with that? That sounds like a damn good one. That's a, that sounds like that'd fine. That'd be good in the Puerto Rican Day parade. Hey. <laughs> we all know how you're getting home. <laughs> In the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Every car in the Puerto Rican Day Parade is stolen. A no. Hey, look, here comes the queen of the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Hey, where did you get that convertible? Hello, your highness. They call her in the Puerto Rican Day Parade, that's called your high ass. <laughs> Hello, your high ass. That's some booty on that. And then there's council. Uh, there's Yo, other let laws. Let me just say this. Yeah. Tenacia Say always enjoys herself so much. <laughs> doesn't she? She doesn't laugh hard, but she blushes big. <laughs> <laughs> and she bends over a lot. She doubles over in laughter. Sure. All right, hold on. Here's somebody who wants to help out with the uh, car alarm. All right. Steve, you're on Fez. Hey, Steve. Hey, yeah. 
Uh, instead of the alarm, they should have the bat light. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> This bat light goes off. Hey, that's my car. All right, so these are all the new laws then, huh, Fuzz? Well, these are the proposed bills, Ronnie. Good. That they're trying to get through. I, I hope they all pass. Oh, it's not all of them, Ronnie. No, there's more? There's actually more. <laughs> well, I never expected more. Ronnie, there's a proposed bill to make the New Jersey Nets the city's official basketball team. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The eyes carry. Nice. Second? Second to second. Second to second. All right, so that's a new one. Nets are now the official basketball team of uh, New York City. Exactly. Uh, there's a proposed bill that said gay rumors about certain catchers are only allowed when that team is not winning the division. Oh, yeah. Well, he's not, though. He's definitely not. No, he said he's not, and I, for one, believe him. I know, because I got that from Eddie Trunk. Those two share an apartment. <laughs> so if anyone, if, Those two have an apartment in Chelsea. If anyone should know, it should be his Chelsea roommate, Eddie Trunk. Ronnie, do the Tighter Water... Put that in your trunk. <laughs> and smoke it. <laughs> due to Tighter Water restrictions, there's a proposed bill that now Star Jones may only be hosed down twice a day during the summer. That's the Star uh, Jones water line. Cousin. Someone tried to steal Star Jones. Someone tried to take her. They couldn't fit her through the Lincoln Tunnel. <laughs> All right, so it's a water restriction deal. Yes. 877-692-1027. Well, I like these new, uh, these new laws, Fuzzy. Well, it's going to make it a nicer New York for everybody when uh, you think about stand it. Stand back. It's time for Star Jones. There we go. <laughs> I'm soaking wet. I should never sit at the front row at The View. I, that's funny. <laughs> On the seats there, it's a splash zone, like it's SeaWorld. Like Shamu. They should bring her out last. So after you see the other people in the view, and you're like, wow, they're all big, here comes Star Jones. When they introduce, introduce Star, I want to see Barbara Walters up on a chair holding a uh, fish in her mouth. A little mullet. I would that like, Star could jump up and bite. That ain't a mullet she's holding in her mouth. <laughs> That's the view master. <laughs> hey, uh, Scott. Scott, you're on Ron and Fez. How hey, are you? Scott. What's up, buddies? Hey, buddy. 5135? Five, five, yeah. Hoo-ha. Thank you. I heard uh, there was a bill to change the name of the Gay Rights Parade to the Al Dukes Parade. Which would be nice. Congratulations, Al. How do you, how do you feel about that? I like swollen balls. <laughs> That's his latest. This is what Al yelled last night at us. I like swollen balls. Uh Today, before the show, I walk into the production room. I see Al on Rory's back like a hawk. No, no, no offense, hawk. But just looking over his shoulder, what are you doing? Are you making more of your famous drops? <laughs> what an idiot. Shut up. Al. I go get out of here and let Rory work. The Al Duke's Pride Parade. When is that? June? Late June? 877-692-1027. I right, says he maybe about this is a new bill. All what right. if we uh, rename Broadway to be Nathan Lane? Oh, Nathan Alan, Lane. Yeah, we just call it Nathan <laughs> Lane. I'm in favor. I have an I there. How about this? The official age uh, to play uh, in the Bronx Little League? 24. Oh, okay. No older. That's it. Anytime that you're over 24... <laughs> You can't play a Little League anymore in the Bronx. All right, there's also a proposed uh, bill that vegan babies must weigh at least 10 pounds or else they have to be thrown back. No vegan baby has ever weighed 10 pounds. They, uh, holding a bowling ball, a vegan baby couldn't weigh 10 pounds. It's like those guys in the Hamptons that aren't allowed to fish anymore. you got to throw them all back. Here is uh, Joe. Joe, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. Yeah. They're taking the uh, car alarms off the cars. What they're going to do is put them on the black people and Hispanics so it serves the same function. White people are so scared of black people. And you know, we haven't had to play that for a long time, Fuzzy. And it's sad when we do. A little piece of us died. Wait a minute, someone's still a black person. Let me tell you something about this show. Earl tried to walk through the revolving door. He <laughs> got scanned. Then, wouldn't that be sad? Check his bag. <laughs> Scan his forehead. <laughs> Here is uh, Jack. Jack, you're on of Fez. Hello, Jack. What's going on, buddies? It's Jared, but close enough. All right, thank you. Who's running the phones tonight? Who's on the phones, Rory? If you Al? Mean? That's Al. The person you're trying to reach is gay. He Please sure write is. your call again. You betcha. Go ahead, Jared. Buddies. Oh, buddy. Uh, 
Uh, let me start off by saying I think they're making a new bill that uh, women need to have their wigs sewn onto their heads so people can't take them off. Is that true? Uh, that may be proposed after things that went on yesterday. Hmm. Have you uh, seen her yet, Fuzz? I haven't seen her. And today, today's her birthday, right? Oh, that's right. We're yeah. Gonna, we're going to have a cake for her. Are we still having cake? Well, I, uh, I left up. I went out and put some things up on telephone poles around the neighborhood. Yeah. Then come on home. I miss you, baby. No luck, huh? It's not the same around here. It's an empty couch under our stairs. No word. No word yet at all. She's out there somewhere. Bald and walking around. You know what? Uh, last night I went home and I was just looking out my window and I felt like Fievel goes west. You know how Fievel, when he's. Yeah. He couldn't find a sister. He was looking out the window. Maybe you're looking at the same star. Or the same moon. Maybe to the park. I was just looking at our building. On the same old bench. The same couch. Watch the children play. <laughs> Sometimes I think of her like when we're leaving, she's just watching like uh, Catwoman at the end of that one Batman where you just see her from behind. <laughs> <laughs> they all get around me. <laughs> they seem to know my name. How I miss her. We you think uh, she'll be back tonight for a birthday or no, that's it. She got chased off. She got run off, huh? I don't think she'll be back. I know I can't hide from a memory. Those I don't think it's going to happen. The day I've tried. Here's uh, she'll be back. Here's JC. JC, you're running fast. Hi, JC. Hey, buddies. Hey, buddy. How you guys doing tonight? Good. What can we do for you? Okay, I, I heard they had a new uh, proposed bill. It doesn't allow Al Dukes to run around Broadway screaming he's gay. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I'm the gay guy on Broadway. They want to put an end to that. Eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven. Hey, Andrew, Andrew, you're on a fez. Hey, Andrew. I gotta be me when you're me. Shake it up. Shake it up. The new bill is uh, drunk radio producers aren't, aren't allowed to ride the railroad. Oh, that's sad. We yeah. never, or at least keep them off the stairs. We would never actually be able to get anybody home. All these new bills, Fezzy. That's true. There is a lot of them. I know there's one proposing that there could be no altar boy nudity in any churches that serve wine. Then so how it's that we... alcohol nudity thing that, <laughs> that a lot of the clubs run into. What if they just don't wear anything under those little gowns? That might be a loophole. Ew. There's another bill that says Rosie O'Donnell can only leave, leave the house if she's one of the floats in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> That's the only time they want to see her is the Thanksgiving. Is that a real bill? I don't know. That one sounds made up. That's these new councilmen trying to make a name for themselves. It's crazy. 877-692-1027. Scott, Scott, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Scott. What's up, buddies? What can yeah, we do for you? Yeah, I heard they're trying to pass a bill that uh, blacks are only allowed four different welfare IDs instead uh, of like six or seven. All right, so you get this. White people are so scared of black people. You call in with the racist stuff, you're going to yeah. get the Annie DeFranco. That's the rule around here. Yeah, you get the Annie DeFranco. We don't want to do it, but we're forced to. Here's uh, George. George, you're on a fez. Hey, George. Hey, guys, how you doing tonight? I hear there's a new bill that uh, prohibits fat people. <laughs> Thank you, George. That's one I think we could all get behind. Here is uh, John. John, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, John. John, go ahead, buddy. Did we lose John? We lost John. We lost John. Now, I know they want to install term limits to keep George Whipple from being the creepiest looking guy in New York for any more than eight years really? at a time. So just yeah. stop that? Yeah. Term limits on who can be the creepiest looking person in New York. I don't know if there's no more. He's the creepiest. <laughs> I think so. Can you think of another? I this I kind of like. It's called the Coleman Law. Yeah. And there should be a little line that says you have to be this tall to be a program director to New York radio station. <laughs> Someone must have seen Jeremy at the softball game. But what if he rides with us? 
And we'd be steering. Yeah. Remember that when they would try to put you on the when you're real little on the bumper cars <laughs> and your dad would steer for you? You're like, what the F? And your dad never wanted to bump like you did. No. No. Never any fun. Here is uh, Sean. Sean, you're on a fez. Hey, Sean, what can we do for you? Hey, what's going on, boys? But I... I heard they're just trying to pass a law. Has to be six pumps or more. Uh-oh. I know someone who's in trouble. This only ends some feedback. It says, new law. The NYPD must return all plumbing supplies after an interrogation or pay a late fee. Oh, all right. So you can't keep that. They're going to crack down on uh, late plungers. Non-return plungers. Uh, Junior's, uh, Marlon says that, uh, new bill says Sarah Jessica Parker has to clean her own poo when walking down the street. <laughs> I say that we put one of those bags on the back cover. <laughs> <laughs> Just to catch everything. Yeah. Now, I know there's a proposed bill that inner city schools... <laughs> well, Hi, Sarah. You. Hi, Sarah. Proposed bill that inner city schools will be allowed to add hydrant opening to the regular P.E. curriculum. White people are what? so scared of black people. It's summer, like no one's going to open a hydrant. Well, they shouldn't, Fez. But if they're not going, you know, out of the city on vacation, <laughs> open it up. Who does it really hurt? Except for when there is finally a fire and the and the and the fireman just stand there, a little tiny water coming out of his hose, dripping out because two blocks over, some kids are jumping around with the with a corner uh, water park. But still, it is fun. It is fun when you run through a hydrant. You know it is. <laughs> you grew up with that in Queens, didn't you, Honk? Running through hydrants? Did you ever crack open a hydrant, Honk? All the time. Now that you're big and rich, when you go to the Poconos, you ever try to open up one there in front of your salt box house? I try to do it, but they uh, frown upon it out there. Now he's trying to uh, open champagne bottles. Sure. And jump around in that. He shakes up champagne bottles and plays in that out in the Poconos. It's fun. I don't know what you're doing. Hey, uh, Mario. Mario, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Mario. Hey, hey, Ron and Fez. I got a new law for you. All people must produce their fiancés from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, as soon as possible. What a stupid law. I would love to meet her. One yeah. day at the wedding. You're going to be best man. <laughs> really? Yes. Let's set a date. I'll get the calendar. Oh, it's not going to be this year. The big Watley wedding. I want to wait till I'm more secure. Who's your maid of honor going to be? Tenacious C? Well, that's up to my fiance, but I bet yes. <laughs> that's be a good honored. guess. Now, don't wear white because the invisible girl's going to be wearing white. <laughs> my fiance is not invisible. Of course not. Thank you, C. Well, then let's I meet her. You. Let's meet her. She doesn't even live here. So this is in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Do we have to clap our hands to keep her from dying? <laughs> no. If you believe in Fez's fiance, clap your hands. You do not have to clap. Thank you. All I'm saying is this, Fez. Either way, we accept you. With or without a fiance? Yes, you are accepted. Now, is there something you want to tell us? Not that I know of. That you're... What? Uh. Involved in a long-distance relationship? Well, yeah, I wasn't going to say that. Yes, it's difficult. I wasn't Some days I don't know how we make it work. I guess it's the good sex when we get together. It's so hot. That's open hydrant sex. <laughs> how about when you just make Roy walk around here with no shirt on late at night? <laughs> I figure he's going to be more comfortable that way. I got him lifting boxes. And wearing hip huggers. It's like DuPont wrestling with you and him. <laughs> and now we wrestle. Here's um, Scott. Scott, you're on Running Fez. Hey, Scott. Scott. Yeah, guys. But hey, what can we do for you? Yeah, I heard they're trying to pass a bill ban in the hanging of dead ducks in the windows in Chinatown. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> the duck's still alive! Ah, oh, chop chop! The duck's still alive! Here's uh, Dan. Dan, you're on the phone. Hey, Dan. Buddies. Yeah. Hey, buddies. Hey, but I. Yeah, I wanted to let you guys know I heard there's a new bill coming out. Uh, any new immigrants coming into the U.S. with the uh, name I am terrorist on their passport, yeah, they're not going to be allowed in anymore. Oh, so that's a good one. All right, thank you. There you go. Excellent. 
I know that they uh, want settlements in any white trash lottery lawsuits against the Long Island Railroad. They can no longer ex- exceed any more than three bags of party mix or the equal cash value thereof. That's Billy. Yes. <laughs> that is a law aimed at Billy. Run at him, who I will testify against in court. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> the defense arrests, Your Honor. <laughs> Billy, how are you feeling? Ah, ah. This is going to be Skakel, too. When they haul Billy in there, it's going to look like they're hauling in Michael Skakel once again. Another defense will call. How can I be the man, the man, the man, when you're the man, when you shake it up? And now you are the producer who works with uh, Billy Staples? I like a big butt or a penis. Hmm, interesting. Please just stick to the questions. Please uh, state your name. Uh, I'm gay. Hmm. <laughs> and what name do you go by? The Faggot of the Opera! How did you meet Billy? When I'm interested in one guy, if he doesn't pan out, I'll bang this guy. I see. I, don't I like swollen balls. I know you do. Please step down. No further questions. <laughs> I like swollen balls. <laughs> I don't know how good of a witness he's going to be for the defense. Or, or the prosecution in this case. Giovanni, you're on run affairs. Hey, Giovanni. Hey, guys. I heard they want to pass a law to make the official salutation for New York City. That would be nice if we could just get that going. <laughs> C, can you do it? I'm never very good at it. Come on, C. Put the C in C. Oh, that's good. That's really good for a girl. Thank you. We'll never jump around on a trampoline like the man show. <laughs> Get that trampoline in here. It would just be one of those mini ones. I don't think that would be very exciting. You can just jump up and down on Billy. <laughs> that sounds good. Billy, come in here and lay on your back. Oh, Billy had a cat scan done this week. Yeah, they think he sat on a cat and they haven't been able to find it yet. <laughs> hey, Frankie, Frankie, you're on Runa Fez. Hey, Frankie. Oh, yeah. What's going on, man? You guys should be, uh, the new law should be, you should have Tenacious C on your show for the first half hour every night. You guys are ripping tonight. Well, yeah, we really are. We're just ripping. We're just killing. Niagara yeah. Falls, Frankie Angel. You know what it is? It's showing off in front of the sea. That's what it is. <laughs> it is. We love our Tenacious C. The new interns for crap. They're awful. I've heard, I know. I'm and we miss awful. you so much. Oh. That we're just joyful when you're around. What's the story with you and Rossi? Is anything happening there yet? Uh, no, he's just my boss. Good. Are you still doing that crazy f- soda fountain stare at each other? Where you're just leaning on the countertops with your chin in your hands? Only for like on five minutes a day. Okay. I heard, I heard Rossi's gay. Really? Yeah. But didn't you see him in a meeting or something first? <laughs> I saw him going into a meeting. Going into. <laughs> I wasn't at the meeting that he knows of. Here was the speaker from that meeting. I like swollen balls. Yeah, we know you do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That was the theme for the night. <laughs> He's such a whore. <laughs> Awful. I know. You're so cute, see. What kind of shoes is that that you wear? What kind of 1970s track <laughs> shoes? Let me see your dog. You know what? They're like the old track shoes oh, from the yeah. 70s. <laughs> I like colorful shoes. I don't know. They look like old luggage. <laughs> oh. I try to keep it interesting. That's it nice. looks like something like those fly me stewardesses would wear. <laughs> I'm Tammy, fly me. You know what it looks like? It looks like the Philadelphia Philly spikes. They always have those maroon spikes. <laughs> Show me again. It's like the old Astros <laughs> uniforms. <laughs> I got them on South Street in Philly. Uh, did you really? Where all the hippies meet. <laughs> South Street, South Street. What are you doing hanging in Philly? Uh, well, I live by there. My parents live by there. Oh, is that really? Is that right? You're in Jersey? You're yeah. You're South Jersey girl? Mm-hmm. All right, so you're going for hoagies? Oh, yeah. How often do you come back up here? Well, I you have know, an apartment up here. So you go back and forth? Mm-hmm. God damn, pick me up some hoagies next time you're down <laughs> Look there. Look at you, by coastal with the Hudson, <laughs> I guess. The Hudson and the Delaware River, the two coasts for Fez. <laughs> uh, John, John, you're on around a Fez. Hello, John. Hey, guys. Uh, I hear they're going to pass a new law that the mayor of New York City has to start every public appearance with, Hey, buddy! 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 They would love it if the mayor did that. Buddy! You, you ever notice this, Fez? None of our catchphrases ever catch on. <laughs> they're, they're not catchphrases. Catch- they're just phrases. 
Really? There's nothing catchy about it. Let's do a new catchphrase tonight and see if it catches on. All right. Remember we tried Take It Easy, Clarky? That went nowhere. Yeah, that's true. We tried Got a Mosey. <laughs> we'll come up with something tonight. All right. No catchphrases for the show. One that's really going to catch on this time. Yeah. Maybe if anybody has any catchphrases that they use. All right. We because take why yours. should Fez and I just be slamming our heads against the wall <laughs> to be the catchphrase guys? When you probably already have one of your own. Right. I know I tried to get the boy Howdy going a while back. <laughs> That's too faggy and southern at the same time. It's like... Uh, Both? Yes. <laughs> it sounds like it would only be played where, like if they were playing Love Shack in the background. <laughs> What's the guy from the B-52's name? Fred something? Yeah. What is that? Fred... Fred Dwyer. No. No, not Fred uh, Dwyer. <laughs> but he... Is the uh, that's who I can see saying, "Boy, howdy, <laughs> love Ted Jack Roof, baby." <laughs> so you could also be putting it in at the same time, right? So you're putting it in while you're looking at it, and everything's happening and it's all moving along. You can hand it to Hawk. Yeah, you're working as a team. Is it Fred Schneider? Fred Schneider, who makes great pretzels. <laughs> Eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven. We'll take a break and we'll come back. New catchphrases that we we're gonna get behind one fuzzy. Hurrah! And then we won't stop until it sweeps the nation. All right, until it's on everyone's lips. Yeah. If you got one, eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven. Ron a fest show.